Hi guys! Okay, so today is a very exciting video. Um, yesterday I spent all day taking photos, which I will possibly put um, in here just to like show you guys. Um, I'm applying to be a Disney princess for an M for children's birthday parties. Um, I love Disney. I've always loved Disney and so I really really wanted to just kind of be a princess. Try it out. Whatever. So I did this look yesterday uh, for the photo shoot and I was just, I wasn't really going for a specific princess. I was just kind of going for something that looked natural, wearable, but still had a princess vibe, which is what this video is. So I'm doing a hair, makeup, and outfit tutorial today on this look. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, you will learn how to do this makeup. Um, for the makeup, I focused mainly on Belle from Beauty and the Beast. So I kind of focused on the eye makeup for her, so a lot of browns and golds, um, nice cheeks. I did the, the blue bow in the back. It doesn't entirely match the skirt that I'm wearing, but um, it was the only shade of blue I had for a ribbon, and it just kind of shows you like how to do the ribbon in your hair, which is very, very easy. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start out, I'm going to take this gold shimmery champagne color, and I'm going to apply it all over my lids. Next, I'm going to take a tapered brush with a red-brown color and apply this to the outer area of my eyes or my crease. Make sure that you get a blending brush and blend it very well because you do not want any harsh lines in this look at all. Now I'm going to take a gold yellow shimmer color and I'm going to apply this to the middle part of my eye and work it up and mix it with the shimmering gold and the red brown color in your crease. Taking the same gold yellow color, I'm applying this to the inner half of my under eye area just to carry the color down and make sure that it looks very pretty. Making sure you highlight your under eye area and your inner tear duct and blend it together with the red brown color so there are no harsh lines. Now I'm taking a gold brown eyeshadow or eyeliner, sorry. I don't want it to be too harsh, so I'm not using black, and I'm just making sure to enhance my lash line with this. You don't need to do a little flick of the wing at the end. I just like doing that because it makes my lashes look a bit longer. And make sure to carry it down and do the bottom of your lashes. Uh, just make sure that you only do it to where the gold starts, so you don't close off your eye. Now I'm taking my Fit Me foundation, and this is in the lightest shade, I think it's 110, and I'm just applying this all over my face. You just want to do a light coat, this is supposed to be a very wearable, breathy look, not too heavy. Now I'm taking just a spot concealer and covering up any blemishes that I might have. I'm not doing any foundation or stuff that heavy. If I have things showing through, I don't really, really care. Now I'm taking a green under eye concealer and making sure there are no bags under my eyes. And just touching up my eyebrows. Now I'm going to bronze my face. Because I'm so pale, I use a very light bronzer and just keep applying it until I get the desired effect. Make sure you rosy up your cheeks. Princesses have very rosy cheeks. I'm using a very pigmented color, so I'm blending it out here with a kabuki brush to make sure that it's not too sharp or contrasted. Make sure you wake up your eyes by curling your lashes before you apply mascara. This will really help to make you look more awake and more volume lashes. Now I'm applying a volumizing mascara to the base of my lashes. I'm not really carrying this up to the tips of my lashes, I'm just focusing on the base. And before that coat dries, you really want to make sure you get it with a different type of mascara. I'm using a lengthening mascara now, and I'm focusing on the tips of my lashes. And this really helps just to dramatify your eyelashes. 
If you look at the difference between my left eye and my right eye there, you can really see it. So apply it to the next eye and you're golden. Now I need something on my lips. Can't kiss Prince Charming without colored lips. So I'm applying my Wet Shine Color Seal by L'Oreal and this is just in Persistent Pink. It's a very nice princessy pink color and it'll stay on all day and there's no color uh, transfer. This is what your look should look like. It You can tone it down a bit on the cheeks or eyes, but I think it's very wearable for a princess look. Now for the hair. I'm taking it down from my bun, of course. You don't need to curl your hair for this, I'm just using my natural hair. Um, but you can curl it in the front if you'd like. I'm going to take the top section and just grab a half load of hair pull it to the back and make a half haired ponytail at the back. This is a very, very simple hair look. Then take a short ribbon of any color you'd like and put it around the elastic and make sure to tie it snug so it doesn't fall off and then just tie it in a bow. This is what your hair can look like, should look like, whatever. You can have curly hair, straight hair, whatever hair you'd like. This is just my natural waking up in the morning hair. It's just a nice pleated skirt. It looks very princessy with the bow in the front. And I'm also wearing a white shirt that has lace on the sleeves and this necklace I got from Forever 21. And that is the princess look. I hope you guys enjoyed.